17 years after Hurricane Katrina, there's one fewer Katrina casualty in the Irish Channel. After years of fighting for it, the neighbors say they finally got the demolition they needed. WGNO's Kenny Lopez has the story. <laughs> These neighbors who live on the 2600 block of Laurel Street in the Irish Channel are toasting to a new day, Tomorrow. Demolition Day. This is top five days of my life. Rick Viana says he's been fighting the blight across the street from his house since Hurricane Katrina 17 years ago. And I had a look at that out my window every single morning when I opened the windows. He says it wasn't only an eyesore, but dangerous. Druggies, junkies, thieves, like all up in this place. Well, I mean, we had rats all over the place. You know, parts of, parts of the building were falling into neighbors' yards. One of those neighbors who had parts fall in his yard, Jeffrey Carreras, says it felt like a never-ending battle to get it demolished, but the fight finally paid off. You know, uh, Leslie Harris's uh, whole council in, in the city itself, um, you know, we had enough people arguing neighbor-wise, yelling at the city, I guess, to, to try to take this blight down, and uh, Leslie Harris made good on her word. What took so long for the code enforcement demolition was the owner died in 2011 and it had to go through the succession process to find out who owned the place. City finally started running things through the, the process and finally made the decision to take it down. This is no doubt a victory for the neighbors in the Irish Channel in their fight against blight. But looking around the city, there are still hundreds of blighted properties like this one that just seem like time and care forgot all about them. I mean, if you have something like this that's in imminent danger of collapse, you have to go to the source and you got to keep at it and you got to keep at it. I am over the moon. Like, I can't stop smiling. Good day. Happy day. Glad it's done. Kenny Lopez, WGNO News. And Councilmember Leslie Harris says she commends Code Enforcement's decision to demolish the property and provide relief for the neighborhood. She says she will continue to push for progress in regards to blight in District B. Well, today we saw a mix of sun.